Hey, listen, love. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to be rude to you earlier. It uh, wasn't my fault to make you angry at me. All right. Uh, I just really, 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 really like you a lot. And I really hate that I say things that are mean or dumb or anything and it makes you aggravated, but I just want you to know that I love you. All right? <laughs> All right. <sighs> so, how was your day, Doug? <laughs> Was it any good? <laughs> well, my day was fine too. I uh, had a run in with Murdoch though. He uh, tried to beat me up again this time. It was like there's some dumb sheet music. I was I was doing some things and writing on it, and then he started saying that I was doing it the wrong way and all this, and it made me mad. And I don't know. I just think that he needs to listen to me, though. You know, I'm I'm a creative part of the band too. I'm I'm the lead singer, so he'd think he he'd be a little bit more nice to me. But meh. he seems to forget that I exist, though. Hmm. <laughs> hey, love. I think I'm really glad to have you in my life. You're so important to me and I'm really glad that you're here. Because you really do that. <laughs> you know that, don't you? I really hope you do. so sleepy today for some reason but I still got some work to do I think or something like that who knows <laughs> that is crazy isn't it one minute you're a small thing that can't do anything the next minute you're having to pay bills and knock boots and all that business it's absolutely dumb and idiotic I think If I had it my way, I'd just make it so life was just endless, endless happy times and everything, you know. Hmm. If I had it my way, I'd love to be even better than that. It would be ha endless happy times and everything. It'd be wonderful. So. I don't know, love. There's no perfect world without you in it, though. <laughs> sure, wonderful. Do you ever look up at the sky and wonder about the stars? About if we all have our own star dedicated to us. And that every time that somebody dies, the star goes out and another one's born from the ashes. And that every day it's 
it's a new cycle of gas that's compressing and expanding and everything. It's almost like something you'd hear about a David Bowie song. Which is wonderful, I love David Bowie, but that's beside the point though. I just think it's so wonderful that life is so crazy and spontaneous, you know. Almost like a combustion reaction, you know. It's all over in a flash, it takes a while to work. But once it starts, it it's gone. I don't know, I get really insightful when it's raining. <laughs> it's not my fault though. I think that I'm just a weirdo. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't have any eyeballs, that's for sure. <laughs> Makes it weird to do pictures. <laughs> hmm. I I do like the rain though, it's really nice, <laughs> it's nice and cold, and it's sort of like a rejuvenating time for everybody, everybody feels terrible in the rain but when it's over you feel a lot more better afterwards, so it's almost like a, it's washing away all the bad stuff, making your day better. Mm. I don't know though. Maybe that's just me being a dummy. <laughs> but, yeah. Murdoch doesn't like though when I talk like that. He thinks it's all for dreamers, you know, dreamers talk that way. But I, I think that you need to be insightful to uh, write music. You have to actually think about these things. Because that's what Mr. David Bowie did too. You know, he talked about the stars and all that. And, uh,. That's what Paul Simon did, uh, not Paul Simon, was it Paul Simon, the Phil Collins? Uh, he wrote that Susudio song, that one's really insightful too, because it talks about a studio, uh, but it being sus, you know, it's sus studio, that's what it sounds like. It's really weird though, because I, uh, I don't really understand that song too much. Did you get it? I didn't understand any of it. I think the rain's clearing up. I think the rain's almost cleared up, darling. Hehe. <laughs> you want to go out for a movie or something? <laughs> That'd be great. 